Hello family, welcome back to Healing to Go to a Row. You knew what it do. Nice to meet you. If you're returning, I really love and appreciate your support. Um, I just did y'all some channel messages, so we're gonna kind of get right in. So I hope y'all having a good day. Today is what's today? It's currently two o'clock on the dot, and it's Thursday, January 5th. Okay, some of you guys may be at work. I'm getting the energy like somebody here maybe on a break or something about your break is significant. This job may be very burdening to you. This for somebody. Okay, take the energy that resonates. If it ain't your story, it's just not your story. It ain't it maybe it's not meant to be. Well, obviously it's not meant to be for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm reading for collective energy, so please respect that. And we're gonna get right into it. I have here rerouting and revisiting. Sit in it. So, I'm going to tell you where I got that energy from. So, yesterday, I was driving. And I was going sad place. And the exit that I needed to get off of was blocked. But I had to be at this sad place at a certain time. Which, it was rerouting me about three miles in about ten minutes. Like, the traffic over here is a killer. So... I end up having to, you know, be rerouted or whatever. And then today, I end up meeting that same energy. But it was all in my mind. It was not actuality. So, it was it was almost like because I had trauma around. And this is just something small. I'm not saying that I was actually traumatized by the situation. But I'm trying to make a point. Because I had trauma around what I thought that happened yesterday it's like i didn't want to go back you see what i'm saying so that could be very significant to any part of your life i feel like there's a need for you to revisit something reroute something that that made you feel some type of way and then sit in it so that way you can recognize something okay and then my next channel message was um facing demons so that could be very significant here this is either someone around you or this could be you needing to face your demons and what i mean by that is it's like facing the dark um the dark side of yourself Ta like almost like being open to something that you don't even know like if you could just ask god anything sometimes instead of asking god for material things ask god for spiritual things ask god for wisdom ask god for guidance and a question you should ask yourself or ask god same thing y'all one in the same right <sighs> What is it that I need to realize about myself that I don't know, whether it be bad or good? Because good attributes would definitely help your confidence and your self-esteem. It'll make you realize something about you that you didn't know, and it'll help you appreciate yourself more. Bad attributes or attributes that could be improved, because I don't necessarily, well, we're going we gonna to keep that going. Um, um, attributes that need to be improved, like I feel like you sh it'll help you realize things where like I said, it's just self-explanatory that needs to be improved. And that'll also help your confidence because not only are you going to um, create growth, yep, you got death here. And then I'm going to take this because I feel called to. These cards look familiar. I mean, I know I use them a lot, but I don't know why I feel like I just did a reading with these same exact cards. But, um... <laughs> Period. You funny. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm getting the energy of like just look at life on the lighter side. Um, be a little bit more easy on yourself. And then I have evolution phase here. So someone here is definitely going through an evolution, or like you're being forced or you're being called to go into this like change. I don't know why I'm getting the energy of like someone who's been very emotional here. Something about emotional stability. It's time for your emotions to stabilize. Okay, it could be causing other places, other areas in your life to be um, unstable. Okay, and I put doubt because it came out in my lap in reverse. So it's kind of like trusting, having no doubt, believing what you see, trusting this transformation here. Then you got abundance and imagination. And then self-esteem. I tried to pull the imagination card, but I accidentally pulled self-esteem. So, yeah, that could definitely be surrounding your self-esteem here. Um, I got listen to your inner guidance. I have high priestess. So, you could definitely be a priest or high priestess. Someone who is tapped to the unknown. You may or may not know this. That's why you got this trust card. That's why it says, I accept my inner voice 
will always guide me correctly so listening to yourself okay i'm getting this stagnant energy even talking about that like i'm getting a resistance and i don't know why i'm seeing someone upset but this don't feel like someone that's physically here this feel like um someone in a spiritual realm but let's move forward i have mojo here so it so i put seasoning because you know they got a seasoning called mojo but then i was getting another energy i was getting like um and just to let y'all know i love y'all i really love and appreciate y'all appreciate y'all support i'm so sorry i let y'all know that when i first came on here but i do i fuck with y'all you know what i'm saying look you got the high priestess with judgment i'm i'm, I'm on to some you on to some here um thank you guys for your likes subscriptions your comments everything i appreciate it all um if you are new this channel here is about growth so a lot of the energy that i channel is surrounded around growth you know sometimes we do tap into past present future energies but it's all in a matter of where you are on your journey so like i said take what resonates okay something about your voice could be very significant but like i was saying mojo it's either the season someone here could be grilling or something about a grill or um are my cars upside down yeah hold on yeah okay as i do this i'm gonna be reading this at the same time that came out already so i have <clears throat> um yeah getting your mojo back um i feel like there's something here that you need to revisit that you that that you probably let go of that'll work out for you okay there's something that you need to take take confidence on because all these cars that's in the reverse that I'm, I'm putting back right because i like for my cars to manually fall out reverse i don't like to shuffle them reversed that's just my pre preference it's all surrounding around your strength your strength your look literally resilience i was just about to say it and and getting this energy back this enthusiasm back and just as i say that i see the six of cups and the sun card when that those cups could easily those cups so something about your emotions is very significant here but i'm, I'm seeing like light water which could be referred to as air so it's almost like head and heart. It's almost like aligning your heart with with logic. You know, something about re yeah. I'm getting the energy of like rerouting your heart, or this could be heart problems or heart disease or heart disease, or you could be ca causing this. I'm also getting the energy of a death because of a heartbreak or someone dying because of a heartbreak. Y'all know that can happen. <coughs> Excuse me. So something about your voice, like I said, is very significant here. Um, throat chakra energy. Speak up, speak up. I'm hearing speak up. I'm, I'm not even halfway through the freaking channel messages, so this going to be a long one. All right, anyways, I have dancing. So something about dancing could be very significant. I'm also hearing something about the Taurus or Sagittarius. I don't know where that came from, but it came from left field. So something can come out of nowhere. You may be receiving some news from one of those signs. You could be one of those signs or something about Taurus energy or Sagittarius energy. The houses. Taurus is all about um, family and stability. Taurus is a little stubborn, okay? Sagittarius is the, um, um, all about different cultures, lands, languages, philosophy. You know, so very smart energy, sage energy. Okay, so I have here out of body. So you could be having out of body experiences or this could be someone around you. I have a Coke bottle here. And then you could be drinking a lot of Coke or something about Coke. You could even be doing a, an experiment on Coke and there go that tourist car, the high fence. All right. Um, you could have did like an experiment on with coke or did something with coke in high school i'm also getting like a coke bottle shake so somebody here shake really nice or if you're a masculine you you're attracted to that energy but i'm hearing natural so you like natural coke body shapes not artificial okay no offense to anybody other out there they got their body body done i'm just channeling in the energies don't shoot the messenger okay yeah with dna here it talks about natural I don't know i'm getting a copycat energy off of that all right and then i have someone had a dream that they talked to god 
or someone died and they had like a godlike uh spiritual experience and they was able to speak on it this could even be you i have graveyard here so i feel like somebody um parents or i'm hearing a sister or a brother or aunt, a family member here or this is someone that was very close to you yeah you got the queen of pentacles here they're asking you to come visit their grave you haven't visited their grave in a while this could be because it's far away i'm getting like two hours or it may even be out of state or something like that or somebody was buried out of state but i was getting graveyard then i was getting graveyard dirt so that may be very significant this is like giving me magician energy okay the dark side of the magician energy though i have flower pots so yeah i feel like somebody here definitely did visit the graveyard because that's what i wrote next i didn't realize that that's what i wrote next you need to visit the graveyard and um decorate it clean it up um something about flowers okay putting down the flowers or whatever and look when i said magician energy there it go so um i have here come to me somebody could be putting a come to me spell on you but i was also getting the energy of like somebody was saying come see them this could be physically or like i said i'm still getting that energy of the graveyard somebody definitely wants you to come visit them where they've like i'm hearing where their new home is that's so weird okay i have um spells or spirits which was referring to that um come to me spell i mean wow so somebody could have definitely did like a come to me spell on you or it's doing something or they could just be thinking in their head they want you back so they manifesting that in their life and i'm getting the energy of like a controlling energy okay this could definitely be an energy you walked away from then i have a pendulum somebody about a pendulum could be significant maybe spirit is asking you to buy one get one i don't know something about a pendulum i'm also hearing pendulum spells i don't even know what that means okay then i have warning danger okay that could be very significant i'm here open your eyes what the hell and my fucking phone just fell and scared the living shit out of me how did my phone fall i don't know <laughs> like that's crazy that's very significant here so whatever i was saying when that happened i said warning danger and then i started saying open your eyes open your eye it's a roll open somebody here needs to do a roll opener spell on themselves and get some rest allow whatever this is to manifest for you because you could be going through some financial troubles here okay or you could be walking away from some sort of i don't know it's almost like you could have been good by yourself but then you joined forces with somebody and they brought everything down this could be a relationship this could be a business partner this could be you just opening your house up to somebody that needed somewhere to stay and then they came in and started fucking every everything up making you feel uncomfortable and stuff like that so when I was getting open your eyes, I was physically getting like being more alert in your third dimensional world. Then I heard open to 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 open your eye. So that that to me meant like the third eye. You see what I'm saying? Like to open your eyes, be more vigilant, pay attention, and then when you start seeing certain things and start paying attention to certain things, you'll go to seeing things with your third eye, seeing it from more than just what you see it as with your two eyes. You see what I'm saying? And then roll opener. I feel like when I wrote roll opener, I was thinking the energy of like, once you start being more vigilant and paying more attention and start reading things more with your third eye it'll open up doors for you because you'll be more open in itself to learn to see other people's perspective and i was just explaining that to my little brother it's not a thing that happened overnight yeah you got healing here um overcoming hardship so i feel like that plays a role with like i said you opening your eyes and seeing things from a different perspective i don't know why i'm getting the energy of an echo like i'm hearing an echo in my room and literally my room should not sound like an echo i got everything in this motherfucker like everything everything and then you got temperance here all right so then i got candle magic so there may need for you to do some candle magic on yourself or someone could have been doing candle magic on you i have majestic here i feel like your energy is very majestic majestic magnetic i feel like this is an attribute about yourself or aspect about you that you don't even know or it's like you're not you're not tapping into this part of you okay like 
you could be, I don't know. Oh, y'all, I got to tell y'all something as soon as I finish these channel messages. So, and look, I'm already trying to get the talking in. I said, all right. So, I got majesty here. So, you could have been definitely very royal in a past life. And I keep seeing this magician card. I feel like you have powers. And it comes from your confidence, okay? I feel like that could be an energy around you. Either you're self-sabotaging with your thoughts. You're allowing other people's thoughts to protrude yours and override, overtake your own energy. Oh, it's like, or it's like, um, damn, it's like I want to talk about it because it's, it's referring to exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so I got Freemason here with down low. So there could be someone around you that's a Mason, Freemason. You may not know this, or I'm getting the energy of like a down low Freemason, someone who like the same sex, okay? I have, I just want to fit in, grow up. So I'm getting the energy of like a high school energy. This could be an energy around you, or this could be your energy. It's like people always just want to follow the trends. They just want to fit in, do this, do that. But it's like they're not following their own trends. They're not following their own originality. And it's like, you, you it's not fair to yourself. And it's the energy of being changed childish look literally following their own original bro thank you spirit thank you so much i love you spirit yeah i'm ashy i'm gonna put me some lotion on cut my hands it's ashy as hell then but yeah like and then it forces you to have like a lack a lack of commitment to certain things like because you know commitment don't just involve relationship commitment is is all things all aspects you have to be committed to something in order for it to grow you have to have a certain um perseverance about it or a certain loyalty in order for it to um bear fruit <clears throat> you see what i'm saying and then i have someone's ancestors is upset because they aren't following instruction oh so that's bring, bringing me back to that listen to your inner guidance high priestess energy while i was seeing the energy of like spirits being mad so that could be very significant here you need to follow your inner guidance something about your inner guidance is very significant it's going to take you far places that's why you was getting the energy of vision okay that's why you was getting the energy of vision <clears throat> let me write this down because i want to make it the title i'll be forgetting everything i've been untalked about as soon as i press like stop i don't know why like that's so crazy so vision i'm gonna around the title around that vision we round and visiting things okay yeah it's like you're gonna step right into stardom or stability you don't even know it something is balancing itself out for you but it's all in the matter of you listening to that inner guidance that child in you that voice in you that's telling you to do things that you're afraid of you see what i'm saying that's why your ancestors are trying to lead you i'm here to the gold lead you to the pot of gold but it's like you're rerouting yourself in the wrong way or maybe there's a need for you to realize that the reroute is what's going to take you to get where you're going it all makes sense it's all going to tie in together God, I ask that you make sure this reading reached the right person at the right time in your time. Make sure whoever like listens to this reading that it resonated and makes sense to them. Cause I really feel like this some this some this some good shit we talking about. You know, thank you, God. Anyways, in last channel message, I got trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. So literally, I literally just prayed for y'all. I literally just pray for y'all. I pray that whoever need this message, hear this message. And I feel like that's the energy that you need to be in. That's the energy that you need to <clears throat> embody at this time. The energy of gratitude, the energy of prayer. You could be running away from prayer or something about prayer is very significant here. You need to get, I'm here and get back to your roots. So we got death. I kind of already ch um, channeled out these energies. Pretty much, I got this card last. Courage. I've been talking about that courage this whole time. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Like, I just feel like somebody here may be suffering with, like, low self-esteem. Oh, yeah. That, that, that bring me back to what I was saying. So, ooh, I see contracts. I'm hearing something about marital. Somebody here fighting a transformation. You got death twice. One upright and one facing downward. Which is giving me mirror energy. Which is bringing me back to what I wanted to talk about. So we finna go ahead and get into it. <laughs> so. 
I was on TikTok this morning and I was watching um this video. I don't know what this man name is. I'm finna go and look on TikTok and find his name. Cause this shit blew my mind and I really want y'all to go look this up because okay. it's gonna change your perspective. Like, cause it really like shook me. So his name is John Walter, right? On TikTok. John J O H N W I mean Walter W A L T E R. So he was doing, and I guess he's been doing this for a while because I've never heard of this guy. This is the first, I probably heard his name before, but it was just like, you know, I don't know. But it's this energy of like, he was, I guess, studying mirrors or something. And um, he figured out how we've been looking in the mirror from a distorted perspective all our lives. And I, and it started making sense to me. Like it started making sense on and it's so crazy because I'm feeling emotional right now. It started making sense on why people see themselves different. Like, I always try to wonder why. Like, how could someone beautiful, right, not see themselves as that? That's that's a question I always ask myself. I always, and it's funny how God works. And I don't even know why I'm crying right now because I'm being revisited back to what I first watched the first video. This girl, gorgeous. I'm talking about stunning fucking girl, bro. This girl, right, beautiful. She looked in the first mirror, the, the correct mirror, the mirror we supposed to look at ourselves. And most people realize that something's off or it feels off because we've been looking in a distorted mirror all our lives. All our lives we've been looking in the mirror where they make it backwards so we see ourselves from a different perspective from how the world see us and when she saw herself how the world saw her her it it like she couldn't believe how beautiful she was it's like she saw her own aura and the reason why it made me so emotional because it touched my heart because a lot of the times when i when people be telling me oh um you this and you that and you amazing it made me feel good you know what I'm saying? And I try to stay away from being validated by people because I struggle with that all my life. So, um, fuck, why am I crying right now? <sighs> okay, so, um, and it's like, I used to always try to see what other people saw confidence is a big thing y'all confidence is a big thing if you don't have confidence it get in the way of your manifestations but when everything is around you literally from physical to well i'm not gonna say spiritual but when everything physical around you is literally meant to distort how you see yourself i see why people struggle with confidence and i see why people struggle with seeing beauty through their own eyes and they try to validate their beauty through other people's eyes because we be, it's like in a way, our spirits know something that we don't. But as humans, we go through it searching for love and searching for validation. When, I, when the whole time we just looking in a mirror that's made, this world is so fucked up, bro. If y'all really know the truth about a lot of shit that go on in this world, we in a really fucked up environment and not because God made it fucked up. God made it beautiful. It's the powers that be the people who want to be God. You see what I'm saying? But I'm going to get off of that. Like, because I'm sitting here crying and I just want y'all to know that I see like, this is why you have to be open to other, like to the person just be open to learn because you'll learn so many things and, 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 and shit will just start making sense shit will just start making sense let me clean myself like this this is crazy i just want to let y'all know i love y'all and you are beautiful and you know maybe you've been through things in life where you've been in positions where people or circumstances made you feel otherwise but that's not the case that's why 
you know, I preach self-love, but it's not as easy as it seems. And I understand that, but it's possible because I'm doing it. It's doable, y'all. I'm telling y'all. You let me get into these cards though. I ain't trying to hold up too much of y'all time. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for using me. Thank you for using me as a, a vessel. And I pray that this 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 reading reached the right person. If I could just help two people, I'll be satisfied. But um, you got the devil card. The devil card and the ace of pentacles. Uh, now I just feel the energy of mellow. Like, somebody here needs to cry and release. I really feel lifted. I feel a release right now. Like, the energy wasn't bad, but it shifted and it feels better. There's, like, your tears are the water that grow you. So make sure you masculine or feminine. If y'all need to cry, go cry. You don't need nobody to be around you when you cry. Do that ugly cry that nobody, that you don't want nobody to see. Go talk to God. Go talk to the most high. Go try to figure that shit out. Because can't nobody help you better than you. That same mind that we use to, to destroy ourselves is the same mind we can use to build ourselves up. And from the bottom of my heart, I love y'all. And I want to see y'all do great. This is why I do this. Literally. Y'all don't know what I sacrificed to create this YouTube channel. <laughs> y'all don't know what I go through just to keep it running. Just to keep it up. Y'all don't know the spiritual warfare that be behind closed doors. And I feel like I'm saying that from my perspective. But I feel like I'm saying that from someone else like I feel like I'm talking to someone else someone who may need to speak up about something somebody who may be going through something and it's like you can't really it's like you may be having um confidence issues I almost said commitment issues because you don't really know how to speak up you know but we got the devil card the first card so that talks about um a, a, a bind a bond this could also talk about ego this could also talk about dependence being dependent on something someone here may be financially dependent on something or it's like someone here is um um moved by materialistic things okay someone here also could be doing things in a negative way in order to gain something but it's actually working in the reverse for them they go my brother ej all right let me get this through um, it's actually working in the um, reverse for them. I actually never saw the death card in reverse in no reading I ever did. Ever. I, I can't recall, okay? The death card in reverse talk about the inability to move forward because you're, you're, you're fearing a new beginning, okay? Let's talk about you repeating negative patterns and resisting the change. They talk about dependency, being dependent on something. Somebody here is definitely dependent on money or finances or something regarding material. Someone here is all in the material world and it's not serving you. It's not getting you nowhere. So this bringing me back to them channel messages. It's like you're realizing there's not really, there's no love in material. There's just freedom. Like, there's a certain sense of freedom. When you have money, you just have access. That doesn't make you happy. It don't make you feel free. It just, sometimes, let me tell you something about money. Money help people who are already in this negative devil energy be more into that energy. It help, it, it brings you, because the man has put so much power on the dollar, a piece of paper, it has a energy and it does have a power because we give it that. Anything that you give power gains power. Like negative thoughts. Like negative people. Like negative anything. Even positivity. Like you affirmations. Going to the gym. All of that is power in a sense. Because you can either give out your power or you can give it in. And I'm just giving y'all what makes sense to me. And I'm also channeling at the same time. So you can take this for face value. You can you you can even debunk this with your own opinion, opinion and your own. Something about your appearance is very significant as well. Someone here is like 
um, focused on appearance here. That could be a problem because this could either be your appearance, you're being very judgmental on yourself, or you could be judging someone else by how they look and you ain't really seeing their soul. Don't miss out on the blessing because you didn't know God was in the room and you judge the people based off of the eyes of the public and not the eyes of your soul. Okay? Just talk about regret as well. Missing out on the opportunity because you find this transformation. I just get the energy to hear somebody's literally stuck in this material realm, this material world. Tradition. That's why you got this higher fan. But I feel like with the temperance card coming after it, spirit is trying to transform you. The king of pentacles is definitely a someone who's materialistic. It literally says that. Materialism. Dullness. One who mismanages money. So this could be somebody who trying to look good and make it up on the outside. They don't even got the money to even be living this lifestyle that they live in. This could also be someone who's famous or someone who got a lot of clout and it may look like they have money, but they really don't got shit. They really just broken, broke and broken. When I say I don't want no broke nigga, don't ever confuse that with money. I, I, I think on a deeper level i think on a more higher perspective when i say broke i mean broken and everybody got some brokenness about them but if you don't have the ability to realize where you you don't have the ability to open up or be open about you being broken so that way we can fix it or we can fix the issue then we can't talk i don't i honestly it ain't even about no man that's anybody i don't want no friend like that i'm open to people but people have to be open to themselves. People have to be open to healing themselves. People have to be open to wanting that. And if they don't want that, I can't want that for you. That could be a message for somebody very significant here. You can't want something bad so bad for somebody else. They don't even know, they don't even know what they want. They don't know what they want for themselves. I don't know why I keep being led to say that I love y'all. This somebody ancestor. This this is God here speaking through me. This is somebody ancestor. I love y'all. Y'all do got love. There's no love in this. It's like you being influenced by the masses. You being influenced by social media and letting that write your life and letting that be something that's it's like it's like a repeated cycle. Because what we see on the outside world, on the mass scale, does not really help us unless we're looking deeper into it and doing our research. Unless we're looking into what we don't see to help us expand our mind, expand our consciousness. You need to get out of this energy of being committed to fuckery, whoever you is or whatever energy this is. It's like somebody here is committed to what don't make sense and it's time for a change. That's why you got this temperance card. It talk about balance. Somebody here is very impatient. It's like you like fast money, but fast money leave fast. And it don't bring you in no emotional stability. Money is money is not meant to money. <sighs> I'm trying I'm trying to be careful with my words because you do have to have a certain relationship with money to be abundant. But there also there's also something inside of you that must be unlocked to have this, to know that even though you are attracting a lot of this money, it does not supposed to make you. I don't really know how to say what I'm saying, but I, I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. And I don't know. I know that may not sound right coming from my mouth. Like if you, you don't even understand what you're saying. How are we supposed to, when I'm being, when I'm open, when I open myself, I pray before I get on camera and I'm being led to start praying when I'm on camera. I always ask God to open me up and use me as a vessel. And when I say use me as a vessel, that means that I'm open and I'm channeling. That means sometimes I'm in the energy of possession. So I don't necessarily always know what I'm trying to say. Cause I be learning too. But anyways, let me get back into these cards. 
I just get an energy of me, me, me. I, I, I just feel like I've been talking about me this whole time, but not on purpose. So I, I feel like that's some, that's either someone in your energy or that's you. It's like it's all about you. It's all about money. It's all about what you say, what you say goes. But that is not working out for you. Whoever this is, this is not working out for them. And it's like there's need for you to dig deeper into who more you is. And you're actually softer than you think. You're actually more loving and more caring than you think. But it's like the world has has molded you. And you don't even know you molded. This could definitely be an energy of someone who's older and stuck in their ways. All right, I'm finna leave here. You got the hermit card, soul searching, spiritual alignment. This talks about confidence, courage. You know, this also talk about good news. This also talk about faithfulness. So you going from this this energy of not committed to committed to something, something that inspires you, someone that inspires you. You know, you could also be called to be like, you may work in acting or um something about thriller movies or um something about an investigation here something about investigations and making you happy or i don't know take that energy how it resonates this could be a movie this could be tv shows or or something about investigating something inspires you okay you could even be someone that wants to investigate celebrities i don't know where this is coming from but something about i don't know or realizing something surrounding this celebrity status as well. And then you got the three of wands, which talk about patience. They also talk about foresight, knowing that your shit was coming in, waiting for them. But it's like moving as you wait, being patient with yourself. This also talk about self-belief, self-confidence, freedom, success, happy with the decisions that you made because hard work do pay off. And they also talk about wisdom and experiences with life. So keep that in mind you, with the hermit card that definitely speaks to heavy wisdom. Both of these talk about third eye. And we was talking about that third eye. So before the third eye was upside down, it's literally the only card in this row with this symbol and it's upside down. So that lets me know materialism is is running someone's life. And instead of them listening to themselves, instead of them actually reflecting and, you know, I don't know. I feel like this message is surrounded around true beauty and realizing that true beauty has nothing to do with a dollar true beauty has nothing to do with art like i'm hearing artificial intelligence true beauty has nothing to do with the standard that society has put on it true beauty comes within true beauty is seen through i'm hearing the eyes of god but what i was going to say true beauty is seen through the eye the third eye True beauty is seen, 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 is seen. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. You are seen. You are worth it. You know, maybe you have been looking at yourself in a fucked up way. But there's time for your vision to be aligned. Something about 2020 could be very significant. This could be the cycle that was, um, like you could have went through a cycle. Or you, this could have been like the first energy that you was getting to like transform or something about a transformation something like that but then we got the knight of pentacles here which talk about patience and perseverance um it also talk about an unexpected source of income but i feel like this is more so an unexpected source of spiritual income and what i mean by that is like spiritual upgrades spiritual realization things that are just seen and not touched things that are realized and felt but not physically touch. I don't know if that makes sense, but it, it do talk about time healing all wounds and taking time with yourself as well. There's also talk about someone who's reliable, okay? So being, like, I, I feel more so being reliable on, you know, people have trust issues, right? And I'm still dealing with that a little bit, trying to understand, it. you know, I, all day I be thinking about ways that I can improve myself and ways that I can help y'all improve y'all self. I've been like that for a long time. I guess that's why I have such a wise soul because I'm always looking for a change, but a good change. I'm always looking for elevation. And, um, that's so crazy. Cause I just lost my train of thought. That's so fucking crazy. Conventional trustworthy. Damn spirit bring it back if it's meant to be to come back why does that happen because i'm thinking about food and trying to channel at the same time it's two o'clock and ain't ate none yet <laughs> damn okay 2020 vision 
seeing. I don't know, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. And I ain't finna stop this video to back it up, to add a clip, to make it make sense. Fuck that. I love y'all. I just saw 911. So help is definitely coming in. I feel like this is more like a spiritual transformation type of reading, but on a different level than what I... I don't know. I just feel different. I don't know. I just feel different about this one. Y'all got to hear me at least be emotional on camera for the first time. Um, lately, things have been really, like, emotional for me. And I don't know why it's way more emotional than before, but it's on the level of, like, feeling. I can feel a whole lot more than I did before. It's crazy, but I love it. And every time I cry, I be like, dang, God, I don't know what you're doing to me, but I love it. It's amazing. It feels it feels great. It, it, it does. But anyways, I love y'all. I really, really, really appreciate y'all. Y'all made it this far in the video. Make sure to give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you feel called to. Have a blessed day. I'm sending love and light to all of you. I pray that this message finds you well. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Mwah. Can't be without that kiss. <laughs>